Hey everyone, summer 2023 has came and went. And so, I want to do a ranking of 10 movies that I've seen over the summer. I've seen more, but I want to narrow it down to a fun video. And also, I want to have a little twist to it. So, to make it more entertaining and more fun for me and you, we're going to do a blind ranking of these films. I'm only going to know the first one that comes out. I have to rank it 1 to 10, and then we're going to keep going on from there. So, without further ado, let's get started. What's the first movie? Blackberry. Okay, this movie was um, a big surprise for me. I, I loved it a lot more than I thought I was going to, but I feel like there were so many great summer movies, I'm afraid to put this one too high. Uh, my thoughts are you're going to give me Spider-Verse and Guardians. So uh, I'm going to go three with Blackberry. Three. Okay. Asteroid City. Ooh, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alright, so this is my first ever Wes Anderson film I've ever seen. Ever since watching it, I've gotten more into Wes Anderson. It was a, a beautiful spectacle to watch. The movie did not have a lot of plot, uh, but it was beautiful. And, and personally, I think I did like it more than Blackberry. But like I said, I'm still holding out for you to say Guardians and Spider-Verse. I feel like they're coming. If you don't say them, you're going to really screw me over here. But I'm going to go Asteroid City at 4, even though I do think I like it more than Blackberry. Next up. Talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, another standout film. I, I didn't like it as much as Blackberry and uh, and Asteroid City. I do think it had a couple problems, uh, just because the ending was a bit convoluted. But it was the scariest movie of the year, and I, I love the direction that A twenty four is going with their horror movies. They're so original and so fresh and so new. They take these concepts like a slasher with X or a possession movie with this one and they just make them feel so fresh like you've never seen it before. So I, I, I think it's a top movie. I already said three and four. Uh, I'm afraid something better than it might come up. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go six. I'm getting nervous here. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Uh, Ninja Turtles was so much fun. Uh, Besides Asteroid, besides uh, Spider-Verse and Elemental, shit, that might be here too. Um, <laughs> it's my second, it's my third favorite animated movie. Uh, it was better than Talk to Me. I feel like Barbie and Oppenheimer can be here too. I, I feel bad doing this, but TMNT is going to have to go at 7 just because I know better stuff is coming up. But I did really enjoy it. It should be higher than Talk to Me. This is tough. Barbie. Yeah, oh, there you go. Okay, I knew that was coming. Uh... I'm holding out for Spider-Verse and Guardians, man. Those are my two favorite. I, I, Barbie's going to land at five, I guess. All right. So we have four, three, four, five, six, seven all in there. Bottom three and top two. Please give me some bad movies. <laughs> Gran Turismo. Okay, Gran Turismo was really good, but I I, I feel okay. But I, I, I like it more than Talk to Me, but I feel okay putting it lower. I'm okay with Gran Turismo at eight. It's okay. About my father. Ten. That's an easy ten. It, it, it's it's good. It it's it was cute. It was funny. But for having my favorite comedian making a movie and that movie not being that funny, it, it kind of was upsetting to me. I'm okay with putting that ten easily. Meg two. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I wish I didn't put it at ten. <laughs> Meg 2 is terrible, man. I mean, that was an atrocious film. Uh, <laughs> the dialogue was so cringy, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. It was a movie about... I went in wanting a movie about sharks. I liked the first Meg. I didn't love it, but I liked it. And I wanted a movie about Jason Statham fighting sharks. And I don't even know what the hell was happening. There was a... a, a, like, a, not, like a, a terrorist plot line? And, uh, nine, I guess. But if there was an 11, I'd throw it down there. Oppenheimer. All right, that's fair. That's fair. All right, so we have one and two left, and I'm holding out for Spider-Verse or Guardians. So Oppenheimer is 100% fair. That's going at two. I am okay with that. 100% okay with that. Please do not screw me over with one. What is Spider -verse. one? Spider-Verse. All right, there we go. Spider-Verse at one. That's... That's my favorite movie of the year so far. That, that's perfect. I love that. The best animated movie of the year. The best movie of the year. It was the... 
best paced movie of the year. I love it. I'm so happy with having Spider-Verse at one. So yeah, there's my list. Uh, I, I want to talk through, I think one, Spider-Verse is good, two, Oppenheimer, good, uh, Blackberry and Asteroid City at three and four, those are two of my favorite movies. Barbie at five, I, I think, it, it, I mean, this is a hell of a list. Every movie you gave me is good, but two of them. So, Barbie at five is fair. Uh, a, a couple things I would change around. I I don't like having TMNT at seven, but, you know, overall, I think I did a solid job. I think it was okay. Meg 2 screwed me up a little bit. I wasn't expecting to hear that one, but hey, I think it was pretty good. So thank you all for checking out my blind ranking of 2023 summer movies. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. Let me know in the comments below if you followed along and how you did, how your ranking ended up being blind going into this. Or if you just want to throw in your ranking of these 10 movies not blind, go ahead and do that too. I'd love to talk to you about them. So thank you all so much, and I hope you have a great day.